Good day. Good day. Next morning, we walked over the hill toward Lut Kulain. I had no idea then of the horrors that were in store for me there. Good day. Greetings, honored traveler. I am Jaren, Lord of Lut Kulain and I bid you welcome to my fair port city. I am glad to know that once again, caravans are free to travel through the Western Pass. For some time now, we have been under siege by an evil power that I cannot identify. Strange, it all began when a dark wanderer came this way, looking for the tomb of Talrasha. No one knows exactly where Talrasha, Keeper of Baal, is entombed, but it is certain to be far out in the desert. Now my people whisper tales of the dead rising from their tombs, and horrible creatures lurking amongst the moonlit dunes. Even I have witnessed things which I cannot explain. I've ordered the port closed and all trade ships moored until I am sure that my city is safe. Atma, the tavern keeper, has an important mission for you. Go see her immediately. You'll find her on the other side of town. Now I must return to the palace. I apologize, but I can't invite you in. Things are rather a mess right now. To any who aid me in the defense of Lut Gulain, I pledge my support. Passage East, wealth, honor, all are due to those who help my city. For trade in magic and the like, 
See Drognan or Lysander. Drognan is the wisest man I know, without equal in magic and ancient lore. Poor Lysander is nearly deaf, but he's a reliable potion chemist. Or travel back west, see Wariv, whom you already know. Our own Farah is a fine and honest armorer, and she can heal wounds as well. Elzix is the innkeeper, and may also have some items to trade. Graze, the mercenary captain I hired to secure the gates of Lut Golain, keeps order in town as well. There are others here too. I'm sure you'll meet most of them. Just look around. Now that Andariel is dead, I can return and outfit the rogues properly. Once I've made some trades here, I'll be free to head back to their monastery. Let me know if you want to travel along. Sturdy adventurer. You know, I used to be quite the scoundrel in my day. I led the fiercest group of bandits who ever terrorized these sands. Nowadays, I run this here in and pretty much stay out of trouble. <laughs> my days of adventuring are behind me. There are many ancient tombs in the desert. Most of them are already plundered. But I imagine that some have remained hidden. I bet you wonder how this town manages to stay safe with all the trouble going on out in the desert. Well, I can tell you that it's got nothing to do with the local town guards. They're all in the palace for some reason. Jaren hired me and my mercenaries to help keep the peace around here. We're not cheap, but we're the best this wasteland has to offer. The chief has sailed all around the southern seas and visited many strange lands. Uh, must be driving him mad having to stay anchored here. Welcome, young sorceress, to Luke Golane. I hope your skills are a match for the horrors that lie beyond the city's walls. A mage of your limited experience may find the evil too great to withstand alone. My name is Drognan, and I know what you're up against, my friend. You ought to look over my inventory of items for trade. Elzix is a sly one, I'll give him that. Of course, he never tries to cheat me. He knows what my magic skills can do. Elzik.
Good evening. I don't expect this of you, but if you want to help me, I would be grateful. In the sewers below our city, there looks a horrid creature that hungers for human flesh. The creature has killed many, including my son and my husband. If you destroy it, I will reward you. Please, be careful, though. That beast has taken enough from us already. The sewer entrance is through the trapdoor, just up the street. Evil has laid siege to Rutger Lane, and you may be our last hope. The creature makes its lair in the tunnels beneath the city. He butchered my husband and son. I simply cannot bear to talk about it. I don't know why you people keep pestering me. Gray's seems to have this place locked down nice and tight. Not that I couldn't have done the same. I've proven my valor in combat plenty of times. I've killed plenty of those demons out in the desert. It doesn't seem to slow them down any, though. They just keep coming back for more. Don't touch my drink, or I'll bore a hole into your skull. Greetings. I'm Mashif, captain of this ship here. I make port runs around the Twin Seas and occasionally out to Kingsport in Westmarch. I haven't sailed anywhere lately, though. Jaren has ordered me to stay docked here in case of emergency. My ship is your ship. <laughs> that braggart Geglash says he fears neither man nor beast. Yet when I offer to take him out to sea, he quakes with fear. <laughs> There are two entrances to the sewers, I believe. One of them is right near here, down by the water beneath the docks. I can see it from my ship, and you can bet I keep an eye on it every night. I can trust you, hmm? You may be as shifty as that pack rat Elzix who runs the inn. But if you need a potion, though, I suppose I can make you one. For a price, of course. <laughs> I never patronized the brothels, mind you, but uh, uh, since those ladies took up hiding in the palace, uh, uh, there certainly has been less scenery to feast my eyes on. <laughs> I hear that beast is after body parts. Does he eat them? Ooh, ghastly. I know much about the ancient religions. I was trained as a paladin of Zakarum in the Eastern Kuras Temple many years ago. Meshif is an honest man as far as I can tell. He has never pestered me about my past. I believe that the creature you refer to is one of the ancient Haradric mummies from the tombs that lie buried beneath the desert sands. It is unusual for one of his kind to be so far away from his resting place. I sense in this entity a restless and malevolent spirit. Meshif is an honest man as far as I can tell. He has never pestered me about my past. 
I believe that the creature you refer to is one of the ancient Haradric mummies from the tombs that lie buried beneath the desert sands. It is unusual for one of his kind to be so far away from his resting place. I sense in this entity a restless and malevolent spirit. troubles me. Her manner is strange for a lonely desert maid. The Herodrum used to mummify their highest mages and infuse them with spells that would allow them to protect their tombs, even after death. I have no idea why one of them would be acting so malevolently. Perhaps Drognan or Farah would know more about this. Thank you. 